Hi, BrainTech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft has rolled out the latest Patch Tuesday security update for Windows 11 23H2, which for this month is KB5058405. And once the update has been applied, the OS build will be bumped up to 22631.5335. Now, the update addresses security issues, first of all, for Windows 11 23H2. And just a quick overview of the security fixes. We have 35 vulnerabilities. That's one more than Windows 10, which have been patched. 32 are important and 3 are critical, which is your highest rated vulnerability. So an important security update running out. 35 vulnerabilities that have been fixed, three critical. Now the update also includes two bug fixes. So obviously Microsoft deemed these two fixes important enough to roll out with this month's Security Patch Tuesday update, where this update Microsoft says applies improvements to the Secure Boot Advanced Targeting and Linux Extensible Firmware Interface for the detection of Linux systems. So that's obviously a dual boot issue. And this update addresses an issue where you might be unable to update to Windows 11 version 24H2 via WSUS, which is short for Windows Server Update Services. And Microsoft says the download might not start or complete showing error code 0x80240069 and logs with service has unexpectedly stopped. So those are two bug fixes that have also rolled out. Now the security update will include improvements that were part of the optional bug fix C release update that rolled out near the end of April last month, which is KB5055629. And if you didn't install that update, then you'll get those improvements with this one. And I posted a whole video on that update. I'll leave it linked down below in the end screen. But just a quick recap for the purpose of this video. Now, it had five new features, the first of which it added speech recap to Narrator. And then it starts the rollout of the new phone link companion, which is basically a widget yet to the right hand side of the start menu. And these features, by the way, are on a controlled rollout. So you may not see them or you may see them depending on your region. So Microsoft says that mobile devices now have direct access to cross device features from the start menu. It also included widget improvements. It includes pivot based curated views on File Explorer Home. And Windows Share can also now make last minute edits. So you can now edit an image, as an example, directly from that share window, which I think is a nice move in the right direction if that is something you are doing on a regular basis. And then it includes desktop icon improvements. And this is one I'm very happy to see because previously, just as a simple example, if I would drag my snipping tool to the desktop, this background would be a solid color. Now it's almost transparent and translucent. And I think that looks a lot better. And that's one of those small little UI tweaks which I'm very happy to see and has been a long time coming. So that has finally now made its way into the stable version of Windows 11. And then it fixes a known issue and included a whole lot of other little bug fixes that were taking place under the hood. Go check the video out for more information. And then the update will also make improvements to the service in stack which is the component that installs Windows updates. So guys, that's more or less what's new with KB5058405 for Windows 11 23H2. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.